Hello friends. Now, since we know photoelectric effects, now let's study some of the numericals based on the concept of photoelectric effect. First, we'll be covering the summary or the important formulas which are required to solve the numericals based on this topic. And then, of course, we'll be taking some of the numerical examples. So, let's begin. <music> Let's talk about the summary. So basically photoelectric effect is nothing but as exciting an electron with the help of a photon and then studying the parameters. So basically there are three parameters involved into this. First is energy supplied which we call as ES equals to work function plus kinetic energy. Now, what are these three parameters and how are they related? Es is the energy supplied. It is the total energy supplied by U. Phi is the work function of an electron as we studied. It is the minimum energy required for the electron to get knocked off. And kinetic energy is the energy by which the electron will be accelerated or it will be moving. So, just taking a rough numerical example. If I have supplied 100 units of energy, of which 30 units of energy gets into the usage of work function, I will be left with only 70 units of energy as kinetic. So my electron will be moving with only 70 units of energy. The 30 units of energy will be in terms wasted because this energy is used just for the electron to get on the surface. Also, this kinetic energy at times is also referred to as stopping potential. Now, why is this referred to as stopping potential? Where there are certain cases wherein if this is the metal surface, we want the electron to just get on the top of the surface. Now, we don't want this electron to get excited and move out of the surface or pop out of the surface. For that, we stop the electron. And to stop the electron, we provide the same energy as that we provided to for the kinetic energy and hence this kinetic energy is also referred to as stopping potential. Now let's get into the crux of energies. Now an energy can be given by two waves. First you will be given as lambda and second you could be given as mu. If your lambda is given then you can say your energy is equals to Hc by lambda. If mu is given, you can say your energy is equals to h mu. So basically, if you are given lambda, you can find energy by using this formula. If you are given mu, you can be finding energy by using this formula. Also, in mechanics, you have joule as the SI unit of energy. Of course, in quantum physics, we have joules as the SI unit. But since joules is quite bigger quantity for uh, modern physics or quantum physics, we will be using electron volt as an example. Now, what is an electron volt? Now, we remember 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. This is the conversion that you need to remember because at times in exams, you would be asked to find energy in joules or at times you would be asked to find energy in electron volts. Usually, the work function are expressed in terms of electron volts and wherever you are needed to find the kinetic energy or velocity because kinetic energy is nothing but as half mv square where velocity is v, you need to find the energy in terms of joules because the velocity should be in terms of meter per second which is the SI unit. So, we will be using certain conversions. So do remember this one fact that 1 electron volt equals to 1.6 into 10 to minus 19 joules. So basically, if I am given some n electron volts, it would be equal to n into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So wherever you are given electron volts, just multiply by the factor of the electron volts and wherever you are given energy as joule, just divided by E. So you will be getting energy in terms of electron volts. Well, these were the information that was needed for solving numericals based on photoelectric effect. Let's take the first numerical. It reads out 
if the work function of the metal plate is negligible. Now, work function which is phi is negligible means phi is zero for this example. Now, well, ideally phi should be zero, but practically it is not zero. But in this question, we have considered phi to be zero. Find the kinetic energy or the Ke of the photoelectrons emitted when radiations of 1000 Armstrongs are incident on the metal surface. As you can see, you are given the radiations wavelength. In short, you have given the lambda. This lambda is of the light supplied or the radiations supplied. Now, to find out energy supplied, we will be using Hc by lambda. Energy is equal to Hc by lambda which is equal to now the value of h and c is available on the 991 es calculator as constants you can directly use those but if this is not the case then you have to substitute the values saying the value of h is 6.62 into 10 to the power now if you are having the 991 es calculator or the upgraded version of calculator you are having the constants value so, in 991 ES calculator, the constants value are directly available. You can use the value of H and C directly in the case of numerical solving. However, if that is not the case, we need to substitute the value of E H as 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 34 multiplied by 3 into 10 to the power 8, which is the speed of light, divided by lambda, which is 1000 Armstrongs. Of course, in SI unit, we will be multiplying with a factor of 10 to the power minus 10 on solving this. We'll be getting approximately. We'll be getting 19.86 into 10 to the power minus 16. Now, do remember this value is in joules because you have taken the SI unit of H, C, and lambda. Now we need to compute the value of ES in terms of electron volt. So what we will be doing? We would be just dividing this value by E. So my energy in electron volt will be equal to 19.86 into 10 to the power minus 16 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 which now equals to thank you so much for watching this video for more content stay tuned with ekeda and subscribe to ekeda